got our shredded lettuce and our um, spinach, which this is all we chopped up in the bag. We chopped the tomato. We did use the um, cooked bacon this time, so we didn't have to cook our own because it only called for three slices. Okay, our green onions, our tomato. We'll get this all in a bowl. Okay, so we've got our bacon. We've got our uh, lettuce. Can you what? You could. Um, you know, if you got the bacon, you know, watch what bacon bits are made out of. A lot of it's just chemicals. But if you got the stuff that's going to be the real bacon, sure, you could use that. Just you, know, you could adjust what, how much you want to put in. Okay. So we've got our bacon, lettuce, spinach, tomato. I think that's the garnish. Tomato and our mayonnaise. And a little salt and pepper. Oops. Okay. Salt. A little pepper. All right. And our mayonnaise. So that's our filling. Make that ahead of time so you can get the flavors kind of blended together. Now on our cucumber, you can peel it if you like, or I just like to take kind of slits out of it. I can find my vegetable peeler. And just cut it down. And sometimes it works out perfect, like this time. <laughs> Not always. All right. And then I cut the ends off, and then we're going to slit it lengthwise. Where you have the seeds. And to take the seeds out, I just use a spoon, stick it down in there, and pull on the seeds. This is where a lot of the moisture is from cucumbers. And a, a lot of the people that say they're allergic to cucumbers, that they don't agree with them. If you take the seeds out, and what you want is the little boat thing that's left. And I don't know of anything that you can do with this, the seeds. I know it's good to recycle, but you know, I don't know. Okay. Then we're gonna take our filling. good thing to, to do with all the homegrown cucumbers and stuff you have and as you're sitting on the porch on a nice warm evening we can pretend you've just mowed the lawn you're sitting on the porch with a glass of wine some of your one bite foods or two bites if somebody's looking in little pieces. And 
you're going to garnish them with a little green onion. Since this is all green, well, we'll sprinkle them all over. We need a little red to decorate the plate. Uh, we do with our tomatoes. Yep. Now you could make a tomato rose, <laughs> or, and I have done that, but, okay. You could just sort of garnish it with a little tomato. Okay.